Irish fans, this is Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson. Try not to laugh too much here at my favorite place in all I'm rod. I am here at the Tackle Center with my dear friend Donnie Lang, the owner, and, the, and my two knucklehead buddies from the Salt Strong. You might have heard of them, Joe and Luke. They're here. And we are talking about doing some offshore fishing in the bay boat, keeping it simple. So we talked about fishing with bait, fishing with artificials, but what we forgot to talk about was how to troll the artificials and how far back to put them in your spread. So here at DL, take it away. Well, you got two options. You got two choices on where you are and what you're doing. If you are chasing birds and looking for things, it's kind of a drive it like you stole it with a simple little, you know, skirt feather like this. Go for it, man. Go get in front of the birds. You know, depending on where you are, those birds are going to be moving with the fish. Get in front of the fish, slide these back a long ways, and let them get in front of them, you know? So, and so when you say long ways, how far? Well, as far as a long ways, I would 150 say, feet? Yeah, at least. At least. Okay. You know, at least. Same thing with your sand eels, your tuna eels, worms, whatever you want to call them, these goofy things. The black fins eat them up. Everything eats them up. Um, Everybody asks me day in, day out, what color should I use? What pill, black or pink? I'm like, I don't know, both. Because one day they eat black, one day they eat pink. I mean, it's this is an odd bait for an offshore bait, but they eat them. They work. This bait around the humps here in Almorada and in South Florida and in the Keys, you want to drag it slow. You don't want to pull this fast. And by slow, I mean easing into the current not going fast, not six knots, not don't don't skip this thing across the surface at 10 knots, pull it slow. And when I say a long ways back, I mean 100 yards. Put this sucker back there, 300 feet back there and watch out for the other boats and you will get bit. They so different than these. you would do with the feather if you were trolling for dolphins. If you're gonna put this out on the hump, if I were to go to the Almorada hump today, I would put one of these and one of these to start. I would put them back a long ways and I would fish them slow. I would drag them very slow to catch a black fin. If I were chasing dolphin, you know, up and down the east coast of Florida, they love them some pink and they love them some bright colors. And you'd so fish I would, them closer? I would fish these closer and I would drag them faster to keep up with the fish. If you're targeting, if you have structure that you're fishing, like a hump, like we have our Almorada hump, our 409 hump, I would focus on the hump and drag them slower. If you're chasing fish that are moving, I would, uh, I would go to your feathers and I would, I would stay with them. I'd move fast. I would drag them fast and I would put them back, you know, 100 feet, the, you know, in your bay boat. I would drag that back 100 feet and let it rip. Yep, and chase the birds and it will get bit. They will eat them. So just to recap, don't troll these too fast. Those don't, slow. Don't be afraid to put them too fast. far back. And when you're done at the end of the day, make sure you wash them all really good with fresh water, dry them out before you put them back in your tackle box and they're ready to go for the next time. That's also the cheapest lure in your box. <laughs> and it's gonna get bit up and right. ate up and you're gonna be buying those by the dozen once you do fish them. So yeah, you'll have fun yeah, with them. For $4 pre-rigged, ready yeah. to go, you can't go wrong. That's the cheapest On thing the you have in your warm. boat. You, you'll be looking at your Apollos like, really, can't they make one of these for a snook? But yeah, they work. Well, DL, thank you so much for all your insight and how to get our folks out there started getting a little bit out on the deep side, out there where it's wavy, out there where you can't see the bottom, <laughs> but your bay boat can go and you too can catch a dolphin, blackfin, tuna, skipjack, sailfish, who only knows what. And this right here, you can fish all this stuff and you don't even have to touch bait. All right, until next time, this is Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson hanging out after hours with Donnie Lang at the Tackle Center and the boys in the corner. Joe and Luke Simons, taking them offshore tomorrow. Hope they don't get seasick. Till the next time. We're out. Yeah. There's something about the water that'll give you peace. All by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wear the line today.